I would like to introduce to you Granatum Reveal, a knowledge driven platform for visualizing and querying the life sciences linked open data sets. As you can see, all the concepts of the core Granatum model are represented as circular nodes arranged in a force directed layout. These nodes are connected to other circular nodes depending on any relationships between the represented concepts. Moreover, these nodes are also connected to literal properties. See for example, molecule is connected to molecular weight, size and formula. We have also integrated an incrementation framework so that authenticated users of the Granatum Reveal platform would able to extend the core Granatum model to include concepts and relationships that they like. I would like to show three usage scenarios of how Granatum Reveal platform can be utilized to query the life sciences LOD. Say for example, the first usage scenario is to list out all the chemopreventive chemo agents which are derived from pomegranate and affect estrogen related pathways. I also want to have the toxicity information about these chemopreventive agents. So I will start to formulate my query by typing chemopreventive agent in this autocomplete box. As you can see, the chemopreventive agent is shown in the visualization panel and all the related concepts are shown surrounding it. So I want to know the chemopreventive agents which are derived from pomegranate. So the most com likable choice would be chemopreventive agent derived from any source. I can click on this node and I can set a filter to the name of the source. Say I want the common name of the source to contain the string pomegranate. Now I want to know about those chemopreventive agents which affect the estrogen pathway. Uh, I can also use the autocomplete box to formulate my query. Once again I will set a filter to the title of the pathway to contain the estrogen string. Finally, I would like to know about the toxicity of these chemopreventive agents. I can click on the toxicity node and I can list out all the properties that I want. I can set the number of the results and I can also have a choice whether I want to see the results or download them in the common formats. Clicking on get results shows that there is at least one set of results in the life sciences LOD which contain that particular chemopreventive agent. Clicking on any resource which is highlighted in a different color than the normal literal values would result in a dialog box which shows more information about that particular resource. As you can see, extra information about the clicked resource is shown in a separate dialog box you can see the pathway diagram of any clicked pathway or the 3D molecular structure of any molecular resource, etc. Moving on to our second usage scenario. Let's say I want to find all diseases in the disease database which are labeled colon cancer and are possibly treated by drugs from drug bank knowledge base which have molecular weight less than 400. As you can see, a concept related to the disease knowledge base is not represented in the core granatum model shown here is such that it provides a flexible way of representation and does not overwhelm our primary user. But if he wants to make a specific query like this, he can always uncheck the flexible node and launch the life sciences roadmap. The roadmap consists of 1200 concepts 
uh, which are linked to the core granatum concepts in our roadmap. Now I can click on the autocomplete box and select Dizzy Zone. diseases as we had shown you previously the concept diseases of the disease of knowledge base is shown in the center of the visualization panel and you can see all the related concepts surrounding it now we only want those diseases which are labeled colon cancer so I will set a filter to the label of disease home diseases contain contain string colon cancer selecting it moreover I want to find out the possible drugs treating colon cancer diseases so I can click on the autocomplete and search for any possible drug relationship and we do have such relationships from daily med knowledge base and the drug bank knowledge base but I am more concerned with the drug bank knowledge base I will select it and I want to screen out the drugs which have molecular weight higher than 400 so I can just look for the molecular weight property and click on less than 400. Let's retrieve some results. Now I will show you the third usage scenario where I would like to increment the core granatum model by extending a, a, a dummy concept and a dummy property. So I will go back to granatum revealed and I will authenticate myself with the BSEW. You can just enter your authentication credential. Once you are authenticated, you will see another panel right beside the query interface which allows you to extend the core model with either a concept, a relationship or a literal. You can load your saved queries or the public versions of the models that have been extended by either you or other users. So in our current usage scenario, I want to include a new concept named DNA molecule. Let's include some dummy description uh, and I would like to add a parent concept of this DNA molecule. And say I want to include another relationship linking DNA molecule to say disease. So I would like to add a literal property called contains nucleotide indicating the nucleotide in our DNA molecule and we would like to have it as a string. On clicking increment ontology your model will be extended. The incrementation sure takes some time but as you can see you will have a notification when the incrementation is complete that you have created an extended data model with the ID. You can also see your newly added concept on the visualization panel. Now I want to merge my current model with a model that was previously created by my colleague Demetri Demetrius can click on extended ontologies and see the list of the public versions. I can either merge this model of Demetrius with my model or I can use it as a separate model. If I click on merge model, merging, merging a model allows me to utilize my newly created extensions as well as the extension created by my colleague Demetrius. If I click on use model, my newly created extension will not be in use. After some time, you will see a new notification which would indicate 
that you have successfully merged the models and the new model has been loaded in the visualization panel. As a result, I can see my concept as well as the concept of Dimitris. I can always use this concepts in formulating my new queries. In this brief introduction, I have shown you three usage scenarios. The first usage scenario was to formulate a query against the core Granatum model. The second usage scenario was to construct a specific query targeting a specific life sciences data, data set linked in our roadmap. And the third usage scenario was incrementing the core Granatum model by adding new extensions or merging currently available extensions. It would be great if you can evaluate Granatum Revealed. To evaluate Granatum Revealed, you need to click on the Evaluate link. It will pop up a dialog. This dialog is automatically launched whenever you visit Granatum Revealed platform for the first time. You can select any query you wish to formulate. The query is displayed in the notification bar and you can go on selecting your concepts that you wish to query. Whenever you think that you have formulated the query, you can always validate the query. Any task that you complete will automatically be evaluated and the score will be provided. Moreover, any errors in any task are automatically highlighted. Uh, in this task, I have forgotten to include a title as well as a filter on the title. If you are unsure about the query that you would be formulating and you wish to know the final query model, you can always click on reveal. Thank you. Clicking on skip evaluation will exit the evaluation. Thanks.